Right on, man. Have a good night. So we found a spot. It's pretty good. And uh, it's just funny how <clears throat> you got to do what you got to do. And some planes, you make, you yeah, find places that are, you know, what, not what you really want. But then you get there and uh, the people are good. We're just in this little rest stop at a lake. It's kind of weird. It's kind of a campsite, kind of a day use area. But this is what's going on. I'm just cooking pork chops. Kristen's making a salad. Another camper just pulled in who's on the road. I made I made friends with those people. We're gonna have fire with them with our propane fires later. They're retired on the road as well. And then you just come to these places and it's shitter and garbage cans and a, and a lake right there. So it's not always remote spots. Sometimes it's just real life. Kristen's in her favorite shirt. Can't stop. Can't stop. Um, we had a great night. I hung out with the neighbors beside us there. They uh, met some nice, more nice people, which is always awesome. But we're gonna leave our uh, paved campsite parking and uh, our parking, parking lot. lot. Like I said in the video yesterday, it's like weird. It's a rest stop, day use, lake, campground, all in one. But uh, we're gonna continue heading west. Again, no idea where we're gonna end up. So let's do it. I've driven by this old tunnel. It's got the date of 1913 on it, and I don't know if it's what it is, so I'm gonna try and find out here, because I've always wondered. So the gist of it, from what I could understand from reading that, this tunnel was part of the highway and they made the tunnel for the railway. And the railway went over top across where the highway is now, but it's obviously all been, infrastructure's all been taken out, but kind of cool. Haha, <laughs> pretty cool. Little half pipe in there. Got up top here. But I guess the tr trestle used to go that way somewhere, I suppose, and came across here. And uh, yeah, from what I read, kind of interesting.
like any place that has a saloon. Always been one of my favorite views of the Okanagan. Looking down on a Soyuz. This section of highway driving from this view spot <clears throat> down into uh, a Soyuz, town of a Soyuz, is by far, well, top 10 section of highway in BC, especially if you're a motorcycle guy, because the switchbacks cranking up this hill and just the epic views everywhere you look, it's a great place to go check out if you've never been to a Soyuz. I very much advise it. Soyuz is another little town that uh, we love to visit. We, we used to just ride out here from the island for the weekend, come up, spend the night, and ride home. It's always a good, good ride, good time here in a Soyuz. Stopped at a couple fruit stands, but uh, what did you end up getting, Kristen? Uh, some plums, uh, beer corn, and some peaches. But everything is kind of end of season, right? So yeah, it's I know. Mostly stuff, uh, you know, like pumpkins and squashes and apples. Fall, fall fruit. Yeah, exactly. It almost seems surreal as we're driving through this valley, heading back into the coastal that we drove through five months ago. It's uh, been a big loop of loops. And Lots of loops. It's kind of crazy. It's just weird that we're back here. And it's awesome and good. It's uh, some garbage on the highway. But uh, the weather's not looking very great. So hopefully by the time we get through to Princeton, it clears up. Well, quick pit stop in Princeton, filled up the fuel, bought some snacks. We decided to just give her and make it to the ferry tonight. We're going home. We're only like three hours out. Um, and it's Sunday and tomorrow's Monday, the end of a long weekend. So the traffic and the ferries are just gonna be ridiculous tomorrow. So as much as I don't wanna push through, I think it's it. well worth it. I'd rather push through now and not have to sit in the ferry lineup for a day to get home. So this drive from here to Hope is a really pretty drive. So um, it, I never get bored of this part of the mountains, going through this part of the mountains on the Highway 3 Crow, Crow Nest Highway. So uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. Parking lot. Deadly.
two for Nanaimo, and I'm not sure if I have anything left on this card. Hey, uh, 21 feet. Uh, reservation? No. <laughs> well, everything helps, right? <laughs> yeah, please. No cash. Yikes. Yeah, that seems expensive than normal. Always a good feeling when you get to the ferry and you make the ferry that you want to get on because in the summertime it doesn't happen. Especially the busiest weekend of yeah, the year. Yeah, like Labor Day weekend is usually super busy, but being Sunday, like we were saying earlier, that's why we uh, decided to uh, go, for it. go for it because um, it's uh, tomorrow's tomorrow gonna be nuts here. The ferry's just pulling in. Yeehaw. I'll text Troy and Greg when we get down here too. Maybe they're on this ferry. That ferry might... Long Island or whatever. Bone Island, I think that's what that's for, yeah. This one? Maybe. No. Super cool. There's an ambulance two cars ahead of us. No, it's not on a hood. It's a new one. But it's a crust line, same ammo as us. But you should go make friends, there's their dirt bike on the back. So just had a great chat with these, this couple. Some idiot on the ferry has their car alarm on. But this is a nice build. It's actually just his work van. He's got another one that's his camper. But uh, real cool, cool got people. Pleasure meeting them. They got a YouTube channel as well. So we made it back to the island and we're just like feeling I don't know, Kristen, how you feeling? Awesome. It's awesome, it's weird, it's surreal. It's like we're driving by things that uh, nothing's changed. The trees look taller. Nothing's <laughs> changed at all. So we are, so no one knows we're home. Um, the kids, my daughter's away this weekend, but mom probably cuddled up on the couch watching TV, so. I'm excited to go knock on her door and uh, surprise the hell right out of her. So, here we are. Let's go. Oh, Mom's dead asleep. Do we wake her up? Of course we do. Oh, look at there's our there's our forerunners. Let's go see. Let's let's go see. Let's go see Mom. I don't want my front dips leaking a little bit, so I'm gonna back up. Oh, look at the cats come home. Yeah. Come here, baby boy. Boob. Oh, why are you so skinny, pal? Come here, pal. This is our sketch cat. Do you not know who we are? It hasn't been that long, dude. Come on, baby. Hey, buddy, buddy. Oh, yeah, such he's a good boy. boy. He's such he's a such good a boy. boy. Yes, he is. Oh, Look at him. Oh. oh, he's such a good boy. Such a good boy. Oh, he's, oh, he's the best boy. Look at him. He knows. He Such knows. He knows. He's a good guy. <laughs> oh, my love. No, we missed you, dude. We missed you, dude. Oh. Yeah, why is he sick? I hope not. He looks healthy. Yeah, maybe you gave him too many treats and mom hasn't been giving him <laughs> treats. That's how he's supposed to look. Bonnie! <laughs> Bonnie, we're home! We're home, Bonnie! Bonnie, 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 we're oh. home! Oh, you scared me half to death! 
I saw this out here in the sling cabin. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, I'm glad you are. Oh, Mom, because we missed you so much. We had to come home. Time for a cat to forget. Go curse it. Or I should say grandma. Yes. I think her cat missed Kristen. I think so too. What have you been doing to him? I've been torturing him. Uh, <laughs> it looks like it. I haven't been feeding him five times a day. I've only been feeding him twice. All oh, right. Proper, proper cat care. And then when he comes home and gets all pathetic and says, I want love, I slam the door in his face. That's where I get it from. Hi, daughter of mine. Hi, daughter of mine. <laughs> what am I doing? I come to see my baby girl. Why you ask me where it was? How you doing, man?